Hello and welcome back to Nostalgia Trip. Today we're going to return to one of the most beloved games on PS2, Ratchet and Clank. This is a game that's very near and dear to my heart, one that I played as a young kid, and uh, yeah, one that's still great to this day. It's been re-released on PS3, and that's the version I'm playing on right now, the uh, PS3 HD edition. Uh, so it should have all the same elements, story-wise, but with a new kind of HD overhaul. It doesn't make too many changes. Uh, if you've seen my Jack and Daxter Let's Play of the HD version, you'll know that it's not too kind of intrusive on the original art design, but it does make it kind of 1080p and it does upgrade the kind of resolution. So that's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, we'll go straight into it. New game. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Alright, just to finish 100%. Nice. Nice! I will watch the opening cutscene. Uh, I can't really remember it. And it's always nice to kind of know what the story's about, even if you have played the game before. I mean, it's been so long, I haven't played it since. I think it was around the time of Jack and Dad's uh, one. Uh, just, an, just as an FYI, the uh, cutscenes aren't in 1080p uh, for the simple reason that it was hard to recreate them, I imagine. Without redoing the whole thing. But I think everything else is in uh, HD, and you won't, you won't. Don't expect the black bars to be there the whole time. The black bars are only for these cutscenes. Uh, I think that's just the same with all HD games on PS3. I'll look fine. I do really want to do a let's play this game. Like, I Alright, so he's escaped from the air base and he's crash landed here when he was shot down. Nice. The microphone kind of killed itself, uh, but gladly I, I have the audio bars up so I knew what happened. We are here to all. Here to offer me what? I think Gadgetons just this shop. Love, love round. Uh, as you can see, it is a high resolution, which is always a nice kind of feature to have in the game. Uh, we'll have a look around here, we'll get these things. Nice. Oh, there he is. There he is. Look at that motherfucking beast. Captain Clark is a shit, mate. He's the best character. Sorry for the commentary's a bit off out there. Still got the flu. But I'm battling through it because I just want to play this game so much. Plus, I only ever seem to get ill the whole days, which is just a fucking stupid thing that happened. I'm, I haven't been ill like, at all through the like, term. And then I get ill on the first day of the holiday, I'm like joking. And I'm just like, nah, it's not. It's not going to be fears. Fucking just have fun. I probably should have that actually for school as well, but fuck it. Alright. Uh, the little bolts are the currency in the game. Um, if you've never seen Jack and Daxter before, which is uh, possible if you're quite young, um, it's pretty much a platformer type deal, but with guns. Um, the way I like to think of it is a kind of sci fi version of Jack and Daxter with guns. I mean, it, ha it has similar qualities, it's got like the main character and a sidekick, uh, one big guy, one small guy, it's got these kind of traversing around levels kind of deal, which I suppose is true for a lot of games, but. I don't know, it just has the same kind of feel. And then maybe that was that rang true for like most of the PS2 games. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the help, de me help desk messages for now. Um, we might come in handy. But yeah, I've never actually finished this game before. I got to this forest level, um, and I've never finished it. So if I do do a let's play, which is very, very likely, if I do do a let's play, then um, I'll try and finish it. In fact, I am determined to finish it. Because this game is so good. 
Uh, the HD collection contains uh, Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3. And um, in the perfect world, I would be playing all three of them. And uh, hopefully, this is the perfect world, because I want to play all three of them. A lot of people say that uh, the third one is the best. Actually, no, I think that's the second one. Uh, up your arsenal. But um, I think this one's the best just for nostalgia reasons. I'm always kind of sucking for nostalgia. Alright. I'm just getting all these kind of collectibles. I think that comes in handy. I think you can buy weapons, ammo, and uh, stuff like that with the vaults. The good thing about Ratchet and Clank is that the franchise is still going hard. Like, it's still being released on PS3. I think the newest one was released a few months ago, uh, Into the Nexus, and uh, all for one, that's actually quite recent as well. So they're still making games for, for this franchise, and the franchise is still as long as ever. And uh, if Jack and Dasta went down that route, it would be a very, very nice thing, but they didn't. And they didn't think that people would like the kind of cartoon game on the day, but I, I can bet you they would. I mean, people still like this, don't they? So why wouldn't like Jack and Dasta? You can throw your little thing. Do that. I think you also have a uh, bomb. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, I have to do that. Is it circle? Oh yeah, circle. And you can do that. But I think that's more for like kind of groups of enemies. Rather than just one random robot who can't even attack properly. To use your bomb. Yeah. <laughs> press the circle. Go me, yeah. And the circle. Yeah, we found out already, thanks, Pat. Oh my god. This game's awesome. The good thing about games like this is it's just really relaxing. Like, it doesn't take too much effort to play it, but it's engrossing enough and entertaining enough to warrant, like, you playing it, to be worth playing it. Yeah, it's not too complicated. Uh, it's still good. Nice game play, especially when you're ill like I am. Like, just relax. Oh yeah. It was awesome. I don't know if a shackle that's levels is awesome, but it's certainly second best. Close second best actually. I don't know. People who I know say that Jack and Dast is not as good as Rush Blank, and I can see where they're coming from, but I think it's just a nostalgia type deal on both our ends. Like people who say Rush and Blank's better. Just have nostalgia vision, and people who say Jack and Dust is better just have nostalgia vision. It depends on which one you play the most, depends on which one means the most to you personally. Uh, I think they're pretty similar in terms of uh, quality, if I'm honest. I mean, this one is more advanced in terms of age group. Ratchet and Clank, uh, no, Jack and Dust was more aimed at young kids. Uh, I think, uh, that's how I feel personally. I think this one's kind of more Jack 2 esque. We'll just get these last ones, and then we'll go over here. I knew that ghost scene was activated, which is why I was kind of hesitant. But it's certainly matter, we've got enough. But yeah, got quite a lot of faults. Uh, Hello! Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that shit. Sorry. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that... Oh uh, yeah. What's with all this save the solar system stuff, anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race Him. and log have a small Him. problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drake, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choice Chairman Drake. of the components available. Drake, it's in like Shrek and Drake. What does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, oh. sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... 
We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this, well, wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Oh shit, well you better do it fast, mate, because we've got company. <sighs> Who were those people though? <laughs> you random kids. This could be a problem. Take care of it. How does he know? It could just be oh, someone going on a holiday. So that's oh, I didn't notice that shadow was. Time. Please return your dumb. appendix to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So you see, uh, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny, Captain Quark. <laughs> dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. That sounded a bit rapey, didn't it? <laughs> you just got your ship and you just, you just crash it straight away. Do you even know how to drive? I, I doubt he does. I doubt he does. Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Perhaps he could. Let me just see where this level is. Oh, bitches! I remember this one. This I found this really difficult when I was a kid. I said that about every other PS2 game that I play. Uh, yeah, but this one was really good. I'm tempted to go. Should we just go down this episode? Should we do it. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. What's this? I think this is a shot. Got some great bargains for you today. So how much gold do we have? Well, that, that's very nice. I don't know why you're so pixelated and stretched and weird. Uh, we'll just we'll ignore cool. that. So you can get ammo. Uh, I think we should. All right, shut the fuck up, mate. You little crooked that looking motherfucker. Um, I'll save up for the pyro citadel thing. We don't need any ammo right now. I don't really use guns that much. Um, we'll get out of here anyway. We'll head up this direction, see what's up here. I don't know if we need to wait till a certain point in the game, but it's, or a certain point in the level for sure. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, we'll just continue, we'll just continue. I was gonna stop because it was a 15 minute mark, but uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We'll just continue. I'm definitely going to do a let's play from this game. Uh, so, I might as well just get a good chunk out in uh, the nostalgia trip episode. Okay, great then. Oh, I know what's going to happen to Oh, there's a, there's a guy over here. He's proper awesome. If those are the enemies that are down at that kind of bottom bit, then they're just easy as hell. Like, why did I think they were so difficult? This game's really good. I really like it. I just thought I'd share with you. Kill me, yeah! Come 
What's not bad? The uh, blue circle's health, by the way. Just if you're wondering. Okay. It's water. Alright, that's the way we go down. Is that just. Oh, it's just her. Uh, item. You know what? I was trying to be clever about it, but it didn't really work. Was that honestly just for the sake of one, one little bolt? Really? I think it was. You know me, yeah, man. You know me, yeah. I keep thinking we can do the roll thing, like I'm dropping that step. Do you know when you roll forward and you can jump further? But with this one, it's just jump higher. It's weird. No, don't do that. Oh, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? What? It's down here anyway. Nothing? Hmm. Absolutely fucking not. Is this, this hers? No? I don't know what the hell that is. That was a struggle. Try to see if there's anything under the wire. There would be in Jack and Daxter, but not in here. I don't like it compared to Jack and Daxter, it's just. What's the habit? All of those. We nearly have enough for that gun, so we can always go back down. If uh, worst comes to worst. Dad blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. Nice what guy. Say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports. News flash: giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain <laughs> to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Five hundred bolts, but I just saved up for a fucking gun, mate. It's, 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 the, the real struggle is right there here. This is the real struggle. Fucking keeping money. All right, there you go, pal. Geronimo! Hope you're happy. Unless you put her off to. Just slide down a sewer pipe. Oh, well, that was a bit. <laughs> mayday, mayday. Pretty big this sewer pipe. Radical. I love this race has this massive kind of shit. From the planet surface. Relax, I remember him as well. Looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa, that was close. Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit. Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not going to live that long. Kid, let's am scream. Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder. Always it's going off about how cool Jesus he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. Yes, we will. See, this is a test of character right here. Do you go down the boring way, the way you came, like some kind of old geriatric motherfucking piss taker, or you have a bit of fun and slide down a shitty little pipe? And I say shitty little pipe because it's filled with shit and piss. It's a sewer pipe. Get the ammo, Geronimo. Let's go get some kind of infection. <laughs> you know what? Nice little guided tour. Back here. And that's the reason I went up there first. We don't have enough. I think there'll be another shop at the other uh, planet. Now, hopefully, this isn't as difficult as I remember it. Otherwise, we're fucked. Hello! Not very nice. Not 
shit, thanks for opening the boxes. Whoa. Whoa. Come here. What are you playing at me? Shit. I don't think I've been hit yet. Uh, there isn't a difficulty for this, so we can't turn it up. But uh, I have been hit. But like I said, it's just a relaxing game. <coughs> oh no, we're being hit. We're broke it. As soon as I mentioned it, we're broke the fucking air. It can't streak. Of course, that's what happens, isn't it? Of course, that's what happens. I'll just get all these. I'm sort of OCD about getting them all. But not to the point where I get everyone, I'll just try and get as much as possible. Because I know it's kind of boring to watch. If I was playing it by myself, then I'd just get everything. But I need to take into consideration like he was watching. Well, I don't know what the hell that's for. It's pretty weird. Uh, we'll, we'll take this. There we are. So, oops. That. Now what? It's over here. In fact, yeah, it's definitely over here on the top part. You just killed your friend, mate. That's not very nice. <laughs> not very much of a team player, are you? Oh, for God's sake. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Probably shouldn't be talking with a thrill like this, but... Shall I play some Jackie Dats today? <coughs> and it must be recorded. I'll take a drink. Pretty sure I'm gonna lose my voice eventually. In fact, I think I am. It sounds really weird now. Never lost my voice in my whole entire life. I don't really talk outside of YouTube, outside of like friend groups. So. I don't know. Can you lose your voice? Can you, does it like does it lose it forever? Not forever, obviously, but like does it lose it completely? Is what I meant. Like, can you not speak at all? Or is it just a joke? Always one does. Type in the comments if you know what losing your voice is like. <laughs> right, come on. Shit. Oi. Nah, I'm, I'm trying to find out which way it is so I can go the opposite direction. Because there's probably secrets somewhere. Secrets in the form of bolts. We have enough of that gun, by the way. What I might do. Hmm. What the hell is this shit? Don't hurt me. Are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Captain Clark. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Clark. And believe me, there's nothing all worse the than on a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside, and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, so Al? I'll try to get in the kind of camera shop. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, <laughs> you're fighting crime. <laughs> you come did. to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. How does that even, how does that even, how does that even make sense to the situation? Do you know what this means? Yeah, that it is. Captain Quark is really that it, that so was. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. 
Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Press the so button. Just, just, just what the fuck? Your ship is marked. Alright, I'll use my ship when I want to use my ship, you silly little robot one. We need to go back to that other place, the stairwell that I thought was the right way. Uh, because there's probably secrets up there. Because the ship's on the way back, I'm going to buy that, yeah. That, that gun. Oh, shit. Right, so it's this way. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? It's up here. Oh, I was stuck on that. Shh. I think I might drop this one. What? Doesn't that? I don't remember this place. Oh, ah, uh, I think it must have Alright, we'll go back. We'll just get the last few bolts. Because, like, we're dragging that to, like, all the uh, flexibles. Count at the end. You can have to start scrounging at the end, so it's better to get them all now. Save yourself from having to come back. Let's see. I was about to say, like, why is it went? Right up here. I got some great bargains for you today. Now I could buy this, or we could save it for a different weapon on a different planet. I don't know how good this is. I think we should save it for a different weapon now. Come and think of it. There might be one that's more expensive, but better. And we have like double that amount now. Yeah, we'll just we'll save up for a different one. Let's go. Any episode here? Uh, if we do an Encore episode, I'll either go to uh, the Skaters, which is Outpost X11 already here, or go to Metropolis, where Captain Quark is. It depends. That one is the main story mission, so it's probably more wise to do this one first. We'll see how I feel. See you next time.